Hello everyone, this is Labor Supply Chapter 2, Part 8. In this part, we'll be graphically showing the impact of changes in wages on labor supply. So we're going to focus on increase in wages, right? More leisure at higher wage case. So wages went up, okay? So income effect, remember in previous part, says that wages are higher now you are richer richer if i can't write down everything if you're richer you consume more consumption goods and leisure increase both this is the income effect both will go up substitution effect says that wages went up now leisure is more expensive run away from leisure that is relatively more expensive lower your leisure increase your consumption so if leisure goes up here hours of work went down okay here leisure went down hours of work went up so the most important thing is that income and substitution effects actually happen at the same time in this case we're going to show income effect dominating substitution effects so we're going to show consumption going up leisure going up hours going down when wages go up but what does happen when the wage rate goes up to our budget line okay so increase in wages, you're going to see more leisure. Leisure is going to go up, right? Consumption up, both income and substitution effects says that. And hours go down. Uh, so how did we know this? Because we said income effect dominates the substitution effect. So work increases leisure and decreases hours of work. Consumption will go up. So initially, leisure is on the x-axis. See, initially we are at point p 70 hours of leisure right optimal level this is your initial consumption c0 this is l0 leisure zero and this is your hours of work h0 here is actually 100 minus 70 40 hours this point e is your endowment point so this is a general that's w is supposed to be down all right, so what happens when wages go up? When wage rate goes up, this is my budget line, right? F and E. The slope of this budget line is negative W. If wages go up, this budget line, red budget line, will become steeper. My non-labor my non non income didn't change. So we're going to pivot around this point. This point will be the same. Budget line will swivel up and pivot around that point e but get steeper just like this okay so budget line from fe to it became ge it is now steeper okay why did it become steeper because wage rate went up so ignore this indifference curve u1 for now so initially i was you know at the tangency point of u0 on fe point p so to show the new equilibrium, right? Imagine this is not here yet. To show the new equilibrium, you need to make sure leisure goes up. So uh, you need to draw it such that I'm actually going to draw it. I'm going to get rid of this. Okay, and go back. So let's do it on our own. So this budget line becomes steeper. I hope I can draw straight. Okay, something like it's a straight line. G G E. Okay. So next thing I know because wage rate went up. Wage rate went up. It became steeper. The budget line. The next question is I know the leisure needs to increase. So the new equilibrium optimal level needs to be to the right of this point. So this point to the right of somewhere here, somewhere here. Okay, to the right of this point. So, for instance, a potential indifference curve and budget line tangency point is this, for instance, U1, okay? So, you moved from U0 to U1, tangency point, it's not kinked, all right? It's a tangency point, this is a U, oh my gosh. All right, so this is the new equilibrium which shows the leisure went up. That's what you're trying to show. Your leisure needs to be to the uh, right of the 70 okay so what's going on is that you are moving from point p optimal point to point r okay here 
You see that leisure went up. Leisure went up from 70 to 75. Hours went down, obviously. And then consumption went up too. So this point P, C0 is here. And R's Y coordinate, C1. So consumption went way up, right? Leisure went up. You consume more consumption goods. You consume more leisure. You work fewer hours, okay? So we can actually decompose the income and substitution effects in this graph. To isolate the income effect, to show the income effect, draw a budget line. Okay, draw a budget line parallel to the original budget line. So I want to draw something that has the same slope of this guy, Fe. That is tangent to the new indifference curve. So let's try with a blue. So I want this slope, but it needs to go all the way and touch this new indifference curve. So somewhere here. Okay, so these two are parallel. Okay, that is going to be income effect. So, for instance, graph does it much better, folks. So, draw a budget line that is parallel to FE, but touches the new indifference curve that we are at. And the initial point to that point moment will be income effect. So, let's say Q, DD and FE are parallel to each other. And the tangency point of this new DD ghost budget line that's parallel to the initial budget line is going to show you the income effect so a movement from p to q this is the income effect income effect says increase leisure way up by actually 15 units here what does substitution effect says substitution effect will be that movement from q to r Okay, same indifference curve, right? Happiness, utility is fixed, but the wage rate is being adjusted, okay? P to Q is income effect. Leisure is going to go up by 15 units, plus 15, from 70 to 85. Substitution effect is going to be movement from Q to R. Do you see? 80 to 75 leisure is going down minus 10 so these two effects are fighting at the same time income effect says increase leisure by 15 units substitution effect says the decrease leisure by 10 units pull push income effect wins in this case and you see overall the final effect of leisure going up by five units so again, this is how you decompose income and substitution effects. But the final moment is literally from P to R. Okay, from initial P to R. And in next part, we are going to see a case where substitution effect dominates. So we are going to see wage rate going up. You are going to see leisure going down, substitution effect dominating. 